Okay, so now, at what point did y'all come across Big D in this thing, man? Big D came later on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, at that time, we had, uh, had a couple of albums out, and okay. we were just on a hiatus at the time. Like, you know, we were just like, we couldn't, we just, we thought we had made it. Yeah. And we were just chilling, you yeah. know what I'm saying? All these times, people dropping music, music, we falling behind. <laughs> Cause we feel like we done made it already, but Damn. we didn't made it at the time. Yeah. So Big D stepped in some kind of way, and he was like, "Man, y'all need to drop an album. Drop, y'all need to drop an album." Yeah. So he was like, "Man, he put us in the studio, and and straight from the deck, that was Big D idea." What? Yes. He said, "Man, y'all need to do something different." And he said, "Check out this blues track." And he played out that that straight from the deck track, and we was like, and we was like, yeah, yeah. And we got in the room and we started jogging out to that thing and came up with that straight from the deck. Okay. A little flavor on the hook. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So y'all with Big D, mm -hmm. Andre Rising. Andre Rising. That whole team and stuff like Man, that. I mean, what was it like running around with them? Man, we went every, riding around every day, <laughs> eating all over the Cheesecake Factory <laughs> over here. And Big Meech used to come down there to... Big D little apartment down there on P Street. Yeah. Big Meech before he was. Exactly. You know what I'm Meech. saying? He yeah. used to be down Yeah. All of us used to be down there. So, you know, Andre Rising, Meech, me, Wick, Big D, man, everybody. Chris Tucker. Yeah. Man, we used to kick it, man. Every day we'd be gone. If we leave out 12 o'clock, we ain't going to come back till maybe 12 the next day. My God. Just out everywhere. You know how it is, man. Seeing a young Big Meech at that time, did you think he was going to go on to be uh, one of the biggest to ever I do it? Know. I really did. You know, to see what he became, I was like, wow. That's the guy who used to sleep in Big D house with, down in the uh, penthouse down there on Peace Street with us. Yeah. At the time. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Big Meech. Yeah. So, man, big up to Big Meech, man. Free Big Meech. You know what I'm saying? Watching that Andre Rising movie, man. What was it like when you were seeing Ghetto Mafia being portrayed in there and hearing I the music I, being played? I, li right? I like that. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I, hey, Big D, you wrong for that. You ain't got me no part in the movie, but I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, though, man. Yeah, when yeah. he wasn't there, he represents. So. Yeah. So, yeah, that was that was pretty fly. I, I even went to check out the movie to the Centennial Park. When we was there. all there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it, was, it was cool, man. Movie nice. And uh, congratulations on that, too, uh, Andre Rising. What did that do for you, though, man? Did it take you back watching it? Did it make you feel like, damn, it, uh, nostalgia? How did you feel seeing that on the it big screen? It brought me back to when, I just, when we just met Andre Rising. I even went home and started listening to Draw the Line. <laughs> 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 for real. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, man, it brought back memories, man. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, just had a good time, man. You know, too. Straight from the deck, though. Straight from the deck. When that single hit and went crazy, what was it like when y'all had y'all own A-Town anthem going worldwide? Man, what? And we own that that that, that album. Whew. And we own our management on that album. Yes, so. sir. <laughs> Man. Come on. We went everywhere. We were doing three shows a week on that for like two years straight. Oh, my God. So you know how that was. Uh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere. We was getting mauled, scream at, rent chased down. That was the biggest song out. You know, you know it was uh, yeah. on, on the top 88 for like, what, three months straight? Yeah. Nothing couldn't take it off. They had to retire it. I always say that. <laughs> man, that song was too big, man. What was that like, though? Because after y'all done already had two albums and then they experienced that massive success yes. out of nowhere. Yes. How did that impact the group and you personally? Man, it took me it, just the respect. People start looking at us like like superstars. Mm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you know, getting getting a lot of free stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it blew up. You know, I could I could just go say, "You need them rims right there." Okay, you can have pay later. <laughs> <laughs> they just, yeah, they were just giving us stuff. Yeah. Because of the song, you know, it was just everybody loved it. You know what I mean? Just put us on a different level. You know what I mean? That attention, though, man. How did you deal with that attention, Nino? Because, I mean, you got the whole world looking at you now. Right. At first, y'all were just jamming, doing your thing. But now, y'all are stars yes. in the game. It was big, man. Especially in not just Atlanta, because it hit Atlanta. Atlanta caught on a little late to the party. You know uh, what I'm saying? But, like, other places like the Midwest, California, 
even Mississippi, New Orleans is where it was really, really big because that's a blues city. Ah. Uh. And it was just super huge there, man. Like, come on, like, shh, like. You did a song with Lil Wayne them and, and Cash Money and all them and um, I mean we was like sort of the headliner of that little thing. Yeah. You know, as for as for what they really was was loving at the time. Yeah. Because that is a blue city. Not saying we outshine Lil Wayne them, but the song at the time was the biggest was huge. song. Yeah. I mean, take me there though, Nino, because I mean, everybody don't get a chance to experience having a hit song that right. you can travel right. and perform. You're making money off of it. Everybody's seeing you and all of that stuff. Yeah. What is that experience like just being able to say, okay, we made it, man. We did this yes. and we are it. And then did you feel any pressure to do it again? Uh, we wanted to do, we did We did that uh, Where You Been was sort of a blues uh, track, but I think that song, we didn't really push that song. We didn't yeah. really have a deal for that song. Yeah. So we didn't really push that out and out, but that could have blow up big too. Yeah. Where You Been, yeah. that could have blow up big. But um, but yeah, the status of Straight From The Deck, it was just like, we could have go to any city be high and just pull up and just call the radio station mm. and be like, get on my field. Get on my, yeah, come on, <laughs> <laughs> come on up. You know, any city. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that was the strength of that song. 